and today we're going to be making shortbread. Thank you for Tanya and Sue for coming up with this idea. The first thing you'll need to do is wash your hands. I've already done that and once you wash your hands I will explain the ingredients. 125 grams of chopped up butter, 180 grams of flour and 55 grams of sugar. The tools you'll need is a rolling pin, a spatula, a bowl, a big bowl, some scales, a baking tray and some grease proof paper. The first thing you'll need to do is put the sugar into your big bowl with the butter. You can use a spoon to mix it but I'm going to use my, my hands because it's a lot easier. And more fun. Once that is looking like a paste like mine, you want to add the flour. Once you have mixed it, it, don't panic, it should look like breadcrumbs, but it will resemble a dough at the end. If you do find it hard to get it into a dough, you might want to get an adult to help you because it, it works, it's easier to do it with, with bigger hands. But once that is into a dough, you want to move the bowl out of the way and get the flour and sprinkle a little bit of flour onto the table. Just like that. Once that is sprinkled, you want to get your dough and you want to roll, get your rolling pin and roll it out onto the table. You want to make it at least a centimetre thick once that is rolled out, you'll want to cut them into, into Once rectangles. Once they're cut out, you'll want to get a fork and put some decoration on them. Once you've put the decoration on, you'll want to sprinkle a bit of sugar on each biscuit. And then you'll want to transfer them over to your baking tray on the greaseproof paper and put them in the fridge for 20 minutes. Once they are in, once they're finished in the fridge, you'll want to put them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 190 degrees or gas mark 5. Once you've put them in a fork, you'll want to put a pinch of sugar on each, on each one. And then once you've done that, you'll want to transfer them over to your baking tray. Just like this. Once you have put them all on the tray, you want to put them in, in the fridge for, twen for 20 minutes. You want to make sure that they're not too close to each other because they'll expand in the oven. And I'll see you in 20 minutes. With five, second, five minutes before it is done in the fridge, you'll want to turn your oven onto gas mark five or 190 degrees. Once you have done that, you'll want to come over to your fridge and get them out. You want to put them in the oven for 20 to 15 minutes. No, 15 to 20 minutes. And when they are out, they should look like a gold, a gold colour. We're just gonna put them put them in now. Remember, if you don't want to use the oven. You can always get an adult to help you. See you in 20 minutes. Once the timer has gone off, you can, you can take them out of the oven. Like my timer has gone off just now. 
So I'll get a tea towel and I might, you might need to get an adult helper to take them out. I'm, I'm just going to get my adult helper to take them out. Okay. As you can see, they are, they are golden brown. We are going to leave them till they cool down so we can eat them. After they have cooled, you can now eat them. Mmm, mmm, that's really nice. Mmm. Thank you guys so much for watching it, and I'll see you on the next one.